Welcome to an application of a polynomial equation, or more specifically in this case, a quadratic equation. In a certain country, the equation given here is used to predict the number of deaths per year per thousand people, y, for people who are x years old on the interval from 35 to 50. We want to predict how many people per thousand who are 42 years old die each year and round to the nearest whole number. So while this might seem like a challenging question, they're really just telling us that x is equal to 42 and we want to find the value of y. So we're going to substitute 42 for x in our equation here and here. This would give us y equals 0.038 times, instead of x squared, 42 squared, and then minus 2.6 times 42, instead of times x, and then plus 62.55. And now to find the value of y, we want to evaluate the right side of this equation following the order of operations, which means for the first step, we want to find 42 squared. Well, 42 squared, is equal to 1,764, which means y is equal to 0 0.038 times 1,764 minus 2.6 times 42 plus 62.55. Notice how we still have multiplication here and here. We have subtraction here and addition here. And again, following the order of operations, the next step will be to multiply from left to right. So we want to find this product here and this product here. So 0 0.038 times 1,764 is equal to 67.032 and 2.6 times 42 is equal to 109.2. So we'll have y equals 67.032 minus 109.2 plus 62.55. And now we add and subtract from left to right. So y is 20.382. But remember, we were asked to round to the nearest whole number, which means if we round to the one's place value, the three tells us to round down, which means our prediction is 20 people per thousand who are 42 years old will die each year. So again, 20 people per thousand who are 42 years old will die each year based upon this model. Now if you work for an insurance company or a life insurance company, this might be useful information. Now, I do want to point out though that while we did follow the order of operations correctly to find the value of y, in most calculators we could just type in the right side of this first equation to determine the value of y. So I do also want to show that. Again, we're just going to type in the right side of this first equation, which would just be 0 0.038 times 42 squared. So 42 in parentheses, this key here squares 42, minus 2.6, and then in parentheses 42, plus 62.55. As you can see, the result is the same, but of course it is important that we understand how to follow the order of operations. I hope you found this helpful.